Come say, boop your walk and boop your talk and boop you say that you love Kojak and there's a hole in the bucket, say dear Liza, dear Liza. I me say Green Bay killing a murder blow. Oh Lord, when I say Big Stone TV for the world, I'm a Papa Kojak say that. very pleasant good afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to big stone television as you know the series continues of our living legend slash icon those who are still here with us today and those who have gone too soon today we're gonna feature one of our true living legend and we're talking about Leroy Smart a source of inspiration to his ghetto brethren, Leroy Smart demonstrated a true talent coupled with hard work and single-mindedness will always rise to the top. Hey, hey people, my name is Mr. Smart. Born in 1952, Leroy Smart's early years are like the kind of biography that is very interesting to read in a comfortable armchair but another story completely if you have to actually live its unforgiven reality he was orphaned at two years old and was taken as a baby to the maxwell park children's home and with no mother father or immediate relatives he spent the next 10 years in the orphanage he was then sent to the alpha catholic boys home the school where so many of Jamaica's amazing musical maestros graduated from and there, under strict guidance and supervision of the sisters, he began to take the very first steps in his distinguished career. Leroy was a prominent member of the choir at Alpha where he also learned the trade of shoemaking. At the age of 16, Leroy was sent to face the bitter outside world and did a number of jobs including working for his lodgings in Mona Heights and then construction work where he had to sleep on the site at night for he had no home to go to. Leroy's subsequent struggles to make it in the music business and to exist in the Ash Kingston ghettos have given him a fearsome reputation and have become the stuff of legend. But, as he stated, the only thing I'm guilty of is defending myself very strongly. His burning ambition was to be an entertainer, and he would listen to the radio every day to the many rock steady singers and dream of becoming one of them someday. Leroy was irresistible drawn to downtown Kingston, the place where these already accomplished singers usually hang out or live and in 1972 
Leroy Approach legendary producer Jimmy Rodway on parade and I asked him to write a song for him. Father, write a music for me no man. Jimmy Radway was then riding on the crest of the wave with Errol Dunkley's Black Cinderella. But he had always liked Leroy's smart voice. And so he wrote the awesome Mother Liza, where Bobby Ellis and Richard Dirty Harry All brought back a slow scare into the oak. And it proved to be Leroy's first hit. Jimmy and Leroy went on to record the boastful Mr. Smart where Leroy stated exactly where he came from, who he was and where he was going in unequivocal terms, followed by the more reflected mirror, mirror. Leroy recorded hit after hit after hit, including the incredible God Helps the Man for Bunny Striker Lee, who recall it was one of his first songs. It was the first tune I did with Leroy Smart. But he did some other tunes for himself. He first recorded his signature tune, Pride and Ambition, with youth producer Gussie Clark, although it was released on Bob Marley's Tough Gang label. Release of the same caliber included from Ethiopia for Channel Run, Keep On Trying for Big Youth, established Leroy at the very forefront of Kingston top vocalists. Down on Maxwell Avenue, at the Hooking Brothers Channel 1 recording studio, Leroy built a body of work including Black Man, Jaja, Meaning of Life, and Badness Don't Pay, which was released on a Channel 1 economic package, 7 inch, that played at LP speed, that has seldom been bettered by anyone, anywhere. However, it is the well-charged 7 inch ballistic affair that will stand forever as a true classic. Leroy's soulful, emotion-packed delivery cut straight to the heart of the problem on this telling tale of intimacy and strife, tearing communities apart in the Kingston ghetto. Through no other reason than because a man came from a different area. Now to you rest a jungle, or you might block a rima, you're gonna fight against your brother, Leroy's smart ballistic affair. Leroy's rough and rugged upbringing has shown in many years previously who the real enemies of ghetto poverty were and it certainly wasn't your brother suffering in a similar ghetto half a mile down the road. Years later Joseph Oakham reminiscing that Mr. Smart was one of his favorite artists. The only one I would work with again was Leroy Smart. Now known as the Don, Leroy's outrageous stage shows were usually entertaining performances where his acrobatic agility was as much on display as his incredible vocal talents. His cameo appearance in 1978 in Theodore Bafakoulos' raucous film added to his growing legend and as the 70s turned into the 80s, Leroy was never far from the charts. Working for myself and other people give me more establishment. And he recorded for many top producers, including Henry Junger Laws and the dynamic, trying very hard, but increasingly concentrated on self-production for his own WWS worldwide success label, including the scornful She Just A Draw Card and the bombastic I Am The Dan, which as ever, told it just like it is. From an orphan to a superstar of ambition. But over 30 long playing albums and countless seven inch records to his credit, Leroy had demonstrated that he was never backward with coming forward when it came to the recording studio, but he never gave less than 100% on every release. He has enjoyed a long and successful career and in a cast of thousands of outstanding characters, the name of Mr. Leroy Smart will always stand proud. From an orphan to superstar ambition, the legendary, the iconic, the living, Mr. Leroy Smart. Leroy, every time I watch you perform, 
I either had to laugh or just feel your pain doing what you did best, performing some of your most powerful songs, songs like Ballistic Affair. You know, those songs are, are great, great songs that are classics that are being played in the dance hall and all over the world today. Leroy Smart, I just want to say thank you very much, sir, for doing a remarkable job, for, for doing the impossible, being born an orphan with no mother, no father, and you stood the test of time to become the celebrated individual that you are today. Leroy Smart, you came, you saw, and you're still conquering as one of the best the dance hall could ever, ever imagine. Mr. Smart, thank you, sir, for a job well done. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, the legendary, the iconic Leroy Smart. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time, sir, for you to do so. Thank you so much.